Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a big Trader Joe's haul, probably the biggest one I've ever done. I went yesterday and I wanted to share everything that I got with you. I got so many great items. I found so many new items. Every time I go there, um, it's more hits that I find. I don't really find too many things that are misses. It's just more hits that I keep finding, if that even makes sense to you. So I wanted to share with you all the goodies that I got. I have like three big bags here to share with you, so I'm going to try to get through everything quickly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to see the goodies that I got at Trader Joe's, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to start off with all the frozen food items. I tried to grab mostly everything that would be refrigerated. The things that I left in my fridge that I didn't grab were, um, there was a thin sliced chicken breast and regular um, chicken breast, and then um, I think there was cantaloupe that I got, was which was delicious. Their produce section is really good. Um, I bought a bunch of organic frozen fruit, which is definitely cheaper than when I buy it at Target and Walmart. Um, and then just some other, you know, odds and ends like onions and um, stuff like that and a pineapple. So I didn't feel the need to like grab those, but I'm going to um, go through the frozen foods first so I can get them back into the freezer. So this right here is a repeat purchase. Um, and it's most of this food is honestly for my husband. Um, but this is their barbecue teriyaki chicken. It says marinated barbecue chopped dark chicken meat with authentic teriyaki sauce and this is really good um it's really easy to make and he likes it for nights that I don't want to cook we put these in the toaster oven and then um we put the sauce on it but there's um you can do these in the microwave or stove top as well so he's really been liking those I'm going to set those right there and then these are my husband's absolute favorite we bought a few bags of these actually every time we go it's the mandarin orange chicken and we like to do these in the toaster oven as well. And then we do the sauce um, over it once it's done. But again, you can do this microwave or um, you can do it with a skillet. It even says you can actually bake these in the oven as well. I didn't know that. But we like to use the air fryer for these. But these are really, really good. Sometimes I've gone and they're just all sold out of these. So I think they're really popular. And then next, I was really happy to see these because I haven't seen these in a while and I've been looking for them. They are the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. These are really good, um, good to have as like, um, you know, a side for vegetables with whatever meal you're cooking. But what I also like to use these with is when I do um, chicken in the crock pot, I like to do barbecue sauce with the chicken and then I add these in and it's just a really nice, um, it's a really nice meal. My husband really likes it. I got to get all these like hearty meals for my husband because all he wants to do is just eat. He's always hungry. So um, I bought a few bags of these. They are delicious. And then next, so the only chicken that I did grab, but it stinks because it's like frozen, so I can't show you, but we had another pack of it last night. I found this yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, and I bought two packs because I, you know, assumed it was going to be great really good it's the trader joe's grilled chicken breast that's what it looks like right there i know you can't really see because it's um you know from being in the freezer but it's basically grilled chicken that's chopped up all you have to do is microwave it and it tastes so good sometimes when i buy like the frozen chickens from um you know stores that you have to heat up or put in the oven i don't like the way they taste um, but this it's grilled and you just heat it up and it tastes like it's grilled chicken that you just got off the grill. I put this in my salad last night and then my husband actually put this chicken in this other pasta. It was a frozen pasta. Um, it was penne with like marinara that Trader Joe's had. Um, and it was just delicious. So this is going to be something that I purchased like forever. Um, it's really good. Um, and it's just easy. It's, it's quick. It's easy. Next, my husband picked this out. It is the cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. That's what it looks like right there. He said it looked good. So I let him get it. Um, it says you can microwave and stove top. So I'll just do this on the stove. So, um, we will see if he likes this or not. And then let's see. This is the only other thing that has to go back into the fridge, but I want to go back like maybe tomorrow again because I never tried any of their salad dressings before. This one was really good. And I know they had a ton, but this is the green goddess dressing and um, it's only 20 calories for two tablespoons and it's all great ingredients. It's avocado, green onion, and then cold pressed lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. 
and this was really good in my salad last night. So I want to go back and maybe buy like all the other dressings and see which ones I like. This one was really good. I was really impressed with that. Now that we got the frozen foods out of the way, let's move on. So my husband has been recently loving chia butter rolls and I know Walmart at their bakery section, they have them. So he saw that Trader Joe's had them. So we picked them up, so I'm sure they will not disappoint. He likes to either make his sandwiches or he um, has egg sandwiches in the morning or he'll like have these with tuna or turkey. So um, he picked out those. This Trader Joe's that we've been going to does not have sesame bagels. That's the only downfall of this one that we've been going to. Just they don't have sesame bagels. And I did ask and they said that certain Trader Joe's have certain things. For the most part, they all have similar items, but sometimes certain Trader Joe's carry certain items and this one just doesn't carry the sesame bagels, but I mean, it's not a big deal. Next is this French roast, low acid, um, dark roast coffee. And the reason why I picked up this is because um, low acid coffees, they're not really like common. Like I feel like grocery stores don't really sell them like Walmart and Target. Um, I've never seen them. I've tried them on Amazon before, but um, coffee's very acidic if you didn't know. Actually, a lot of foods that we eat are acidic and so it's good to, you know, maybe give um, our bodies a break. There's foods that you can eat to um, lower the acidity and make your body more alkaline. Um, but it just, it's just hard because a lot of things that we eat are um, acidic. So anyways, my husband more so than me is the reason why I got this because even when he drinks coffee afterwards, he just, his stomach feels full and bloated. He's got to run to the bathroom. So this, he really noticed a difference. We just used it um, today. Um, this morning he noticed a difference and honestly guys it wasn't that bad it was actually pretty good the coffee um, I didn't realize it but this is um, whole beans so I did have to grind it um, so the only thing is that you would have to um, get a grinder if your coffee pot doesn't have one um, ours does I don't think they had a ground um, you know coffee of this it's just the whole beans but other than that we've really been liking it um, and then next I got these like mini avocados. Let's see here. They're like the mini baby avocados. That's what it looks like. That's how I picked it up. Um, the Calavo, um, mini avocados, because sometimes when I use the avocados, like the big ones, um, I just don't like use them all and then they end up going bad. So that's why I just got these mini ones. So that's that. And then next, so a lot of these snack items my husband picked up. These are the sesame honey cashews. Their whole nut section is just like overwhelming and intense. Um, so my husband was like staring at all of them for like a long time. These are the ones he picked out. The sesame honey cashews. You guys, these are like I'm going to have one right now. They are delicious, but I'm not like going to eat a lot of them. My husband can do that. I just stick to like the regular almonds, but oh my goodness. Oh, so, mm, so, so good, you guys. So good. And then, this is a repeat purchase. I don't know if I mentioned these before. These are addicting. They are not calorie friendly, but they are the sesame sticks from Trader Joe's. And my husband loves these. Like, we both can plow through these. A third cup is 170 calories, and let's be honest, a third cup is like almost like a handful of these, so um, yeah, but they're really, 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 really good, guys, like not joking when I say that. So next, and we've already started them, I picked up two bags of the rolled cord and tortilla chips. These are the chili and lime flavored ones. These are just always going to be something that we buy. It's like a staple now. <laughs> they're just... Mm. So good. Me and my husband love them. But I try to eat less of them. My husband eats more of them. Really, really, really good. Would highly recommend them. And then um, I have two boxes of cereal to share with you. This one is a repeat purchase. My husband really likes it. It's the just it's called Just the Clusters Chocolate Almond Granola Cereal. And it's nice because it's really filling. That's what my husband says. So, you know, he'll eat this. It's pretty filling. Um and I feel like it's very comparable to, like, the Kashi cereal that I buy for him, but it's cheaper. So, and, like, the ingredients, yeah, everything is, for the most part, I don't know. I don't know if this is non-GMO, actually. Um, there's a couple things that I don't recognize, but for the most part, it's all, you know, ingredients I recognize. But, 
anyway, so we got that, and then he picked out this one, low-fat granola cereal mixed berry. So, these cereals are really filling. I don't eat them, he does, but um, yeah, so we got two cereals, and I picked up a couple cans of the solid white albacore tuna for my husband, if um, my camera, like, wants to focus. There we go. Um, I, fun fact about me, I do not eat anything from the ocean at all, nothing. Like, I will not eat anything. Um, and my husband, like, he'll eat tuna, but that's about it. Like, we're not buying seafood. We don't eat seafood when we're out. Um, but I just don't, I don't do anything. But he will eat the tuna. Um, and I'm trying to think, like I said earlier, I got, like, cantaloupe. I got, like, tons of fruit, tons of frozen fruit. Um, I got, like, onions, like, some other, like, produce and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I spent well over $100. Um, this is the biggest haul I've ever done. Like, you know, I, I usually spend, I think the most prior to this one I spent was like maybe like 80 bucks, 60 to 80 bucks. So this one was pretty up there because you have to remember, I still go grocery shop and get like Walmart and Target as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely wanted to share these items with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any of these items, if you have any recommendations for me. Um, I would definitely be curious to find out. Um, mostly everything is just a hit at this point at Trader Joe's. I think the last time I bought something that wasn't was their chili um, or their taco seasoning. It was just too, too spicy for the chili. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. But uh, I don't know. I just like I'm definitely on the Trader Joe's bandwagon. Like four months ago, I never went there. So, um, I love it. But yeah, I will, um, do another one of these in the future, but let me know, you know, what you guys are loving. I will see you in my next video. Bye.